All right. What else is happening? Stuff. So when do you think you're going to attack stuff? Like straight away or after a while? Um, well, probably middle of 36 is when I'll kick it off. Alright, because bear in mind, when you declare war on someone, then other people can declare on you. Yeah, I just, I have no way of setting anything up from here without doing at least something. <laughs> now it's Valnuma. Ooh, someone is boosting popularity in Romania. Oh, bloody hell. Two allies in an axis. Yeah, I'm wow. going to have to do something about that. <laughs> Turkey is being left alone. Greece is being left alone. <laughs> Romania is going to have such a interesting game, I think. Keeps on pausing it. Ah, oh, this is going to be slow. <laughs> yeah, just to try to delay attacking, I'm actually going to go ahead and boost Romania from my side as well. Okay, still cool. Still getting political power, but it'll, you know, delay war starting a little bit. That's fine. I mean, with two of us boosting, we are in last place at the moment. Uh, the allies might be able to flip them, but if we, actually, if we boost enough, then we'll start costing the allies. I don't know. Wait, I'm boosting in China. Why'd that stop? I'm glad I checked that. Canada's trying to boost China as well. For some reason. Maybe just to try to keep us from getting it. Yeah, quite possibly. Well, this time at least I know that I can actually move all of my ships. So I'm going to send all of my fleet to uh, the Baltic. Because I don't think I'm going to be any competition for Japan. In fact, I might send my fleet to Archangel. Then at least I can use them when I need them. That's probably a better idea. That's a really good idea, to be honest. I need to wait for them to all arrive. Apparently the Soviets really like submarines. <laughs> yeah, so many of them. It might actually be quite interesting, this game. If players are actually using submarines properly against the UK, then the UK might actually have problems. Because the AI is terrible with subs. Yeah, it really is. Do, 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 do. All right. I'm also very, very tempted to build more air bases on the bit of the Soviet Union, like North Sakhalin Island, and then using strategic bombers against Japan. Actually, I have quite a lot of airplane capacity over by Manchukuo. Oh, that's the other thing I can do. I can disband all my air forces. Yeah, you've got the, the airport right off the coast, right? Yep. So I think I might well get lots and lots of strategic bombers and use those as my primary thing, and basically just use the size of Russia to defend myself. 
and general winter, of course. Well, that's freed up several thousand people. Alright, so how are the units moving? Oh, this is so slow. Yeah, I haven't even made it halfway across my country yet. <laughs> Alright, we're holding steady at speed 2. And that's pretty much the lowest that I'd want to go. Especially at this stage of the game when there's nothing much going on. Sarwin, thank you very much for the follow. So which, co the which country did you say you were going to go for first? Zubai. Uh, I usually start with Shaanxi and then move over to Zubai. Okay. Oh, I just realized I've got to boost China, so China is going to be an absolute walkover. Dull. Oh well. Jeez, people. <laughs> I wonder if France is actually going to hold out. I think that's probably going to be the most interesting um, indicator to how the game's going. Just got a non-aggression pact request from the United Kingdom. Really? I didn't. <laughs> Like, what are they worried about me for? I can't even get to them. Uh, you could theoretically threaten India. Ah, oh, yeah, the British Raj is right there. And in fact, that is like their absolutely massive Achilles heel. If we go to war with the UK, we need to go and go after the British Raj. In fact, if we go to war, the first thing I'm going to do is declare war on Afghanistan, just to open up a nice big front. And if yeah. the UK is any good at all, then they'll probably withdraw basically all of their forces from France to hold India. It's that important. Yeah, in the games I was doing, I usually did Shaanxi, Zabai, Sunline, and then took over Tibet so that I had all that front right there with the British Raws. Not a bad idea at all. So who's winning the uh, popularity contest in Romania? It's just you and me left. All the others backed off. They saw both of us jump in there. Yeah, probably. How's China? China's up to 3% communist. It seems to be like around 31 to 35% is whenever they start flipping countries. Yeah, I think it's 30% is the trigger. Oh, here comes the non-aggression pact from the UK. I'm not averse to it, but how would we break it later on if we needed to? Because you need to have a certain number of troops on their border. No, I'm going to reject that. Doesn't necessarily mean anything, though they're almost certainly going to read something into it. But also, our um, victory conditions, we have to take either London, Paris, or Washington, and Berlin, or Rome, or Tokyo, and one of the other capitals in any order. So to win, we could take Berlin, Paris, and London. Or... That, depending on the players, that may be the easier route to go. Yeah, quite possibly. Or 
that work? Yeah, Paris, Berlin and Rome would also be a possibility and that we wouldn't actually need to land any troops in Italy. Uh, in the UK. Oh, for goodness sake. That also keeps us out of Japan. That's true. Both the Japan and the UK are an absolute pain to invade. How many troops is Ultra Hill putting on my border? Bloody hell. What keeps pausing it? I wonder if that's Ultra Hill typing or something. No, it's saying that I'm pausing the game. Oh, I bet it's because, yeah, Valnoma is a full day behind everyone else. I've made it about three quarters of the way across my country at this point. Yeah, I can't even unpause. I think we're going to have to kick Valnoma and or Slowpoke. Uh, slow list. Are people actually keeping up? More or less? At the moment it's actually Valonomas who's slowing it down. Yeah, speed one is all we're going to get. At that speed, it's going to take us uh, seven or eight, or seven or eight, nine days, nine hour days to finish this. Yep, I know. Okay, well, it's holding steady at speed one. America's make uh, Valnum is making America slow again. Well, it looks like this is going to be speed one. Yes, I know.
slow list seems to be managing speed too. Valnoma just isn't. This is annoying. Yeah, okay. We're solid on speed, too. I better have a word with Alnoma. <laughs> Can we manage speed three, I wonder? Or am I pushing it? Slow list seems to just about be keeping up. Yeah, we're all good. Okay, cool. Glad about that. I'm sorry, Valnoma. I really am sorry. Would have been cool to keep you in, but moving this at speed 1, especially right at the beginning of the game, that did not bode well for later on. Yep, everyone else is keeping up. Already? That's pretty good going. 8% China. I think we may well actually flip Romania. Yeah, if nobody else steps in, it's going to be easy. Canada's still trying to foil us in China, but it's not going to be enough with just them. Ah, all well, the ships have been built. Excellent. I might try a naval strategy very similar to what I did as Germany against the UK. Oh, Ethiopia. <laughs> I was like, what the hell just happened there? <laughs> yeah, that freaks me out a little bit. <laughs> Alright, Italy took Ethiopia. Well done, Italy. So, battle cruisers, because that was an amazing strategy before. Have all of my ships arrived yet? No. <laughs> so, since they, they were in a war, we can attack Italy for free, right? Uh, they start in a war, though. It's not quite the same thing. Ah, uh, technicalities. <laughs> wow, Aldrahel has a lot of troops on my border. That makes me more than a little bit nervous. Let's assign you a commander. In fact, you know what? I should be doing a bunch of training. I'm going to train my entire army. It will cost me a small fortune in equipment, but I think it will be worth it in the long run. 
Oh wow, that is a lot of people. Yes, exactly. Alright. The Soviet Union has started doing military exercises on the border with Japan. Something tells me World War II is not going to kick off historically. No. Well, we have a free pass until 37 at least, so we have just under a year. You guys, new theatre, we'll call this East. Army 2, you are Poland North. Just renaming all of my armies so I know where the hell they are. Yeah, mine was super simple, I have the realignment force. I think I'm going to run with four theater theaters. Got about 12 days, and I'll have enough political power to start doing uh, judgments against other countries. Justifications, not judgments. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> I understood you. Okay. My question is, do I want a separate theatre for just Poland? Because that's likely to be where the majority of my troops will be concentrated, will be that bit. No. I have a better plan. And then this one can just be other. Okay, we are organized. Marvelous. Okay, we're getting quite a lot of training done. First five year plan is finished. Now, which one do I need? Just the Great Purge. Do I want to start the Purge now? The earlier that's done, in my opinion, the better. That is true. I'm trying to see if there's anything else I want to get built. Okay, Rhineland's been remilitarized. Yes, we'll start the Purge. The fifth column. All right. So how much is this costing me in equipment? <laughs> Ouch! My supply has gone down to minus 37,000 infantry equipment. Interesting. Okay, we are seriously weak. I better not say that too loudly. <laughs> oh boy, yeah. And I just started the war goals on Shenzhen. Cool. We're at 18% in China. 16 in Romania and the UK has started again. I don't really care if Romania falls to the Allies. I just want to keep it out of fascist hands. Because that's oil. Oh, oh yeah, absolutely. Okay. 
And in fact, once war tension's risen high enough, I might even try and uh, guarantee it. Although all of this is costing me political power, I'm currently earning 0 0.5 a day. Actually, so would you. Yeah, that's what I've got at the moment. Which is annoying, because I would really like the Captain of Industry. 